So here's the latest and greatest on the van. It's been parked for about a month. I've been staying with family and basically I've been going through my old stuff and getting rid of stuff to minimize further. And I just have a couple of boxes left. I have a box of stuff that I've got on Poshmark. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know and I can give you guys a link somehow to that. But essentially I'm selling off the remainder of stuff. I've given away quite a few stuff and just really minimizing because once you live in a van you realize how little you actually need and how much we all carry around that we don't even use. And so yeah, I've been doing that and then been doing quite a bit of reading. Um, I had a streak of like 30 days pretty much straight of doing YouTube videos and that was great. But I also realized that some of the longer term projects like a video that I want to put out later this year that's more of a cinematic short film and then a longer film that I want to work on I need to dedicate more time to. So when you're spending four to six hours a day making a YouTube video each day it kind of is really time consuming. And so I want to also provide quality stuff. I don't want to just make a video to make a video if that makes sense. So I'm still trying out, figuring out like what a workflow of like creating videos is going to be for this channel. So sometimes I just have like a bazillion ideas. I think they're all really good and stuff, but I want to hear more of you guys' feedback on what you actually want to see. So as far as what the bus is doing right now, it's been sitting. I filled it up on gas today because the gas price in the US is lower um, in general compared to what it was before. And what's interesting is a bus actually takes 93 grade. Right? You have to do 91 or better. So depending on where you are, whether your gas stations have a 91 or 93, you have to do that for the engines. And then, yeah, I've just been figuring out what to do. I ordered, ordered three parts. So I ordered two rubber necks and a connector between them because in the back right corner of the vehicle, there is a gas leak. I'm going to try and do the process myself once the parts come in in about two weeks. We'll see how that goes. There's still a lot that I don't know about it. I did look on a tutorial and part of it doesn't look that bad. But again, I'm not mechanically inclined, so we'll see how this goes. And then I just went through and took a lot of the stuff out of the van so it doesn't end up smelling like gasoline because that's not fun. I had some kerosene spilled maybe two or three months ago. and. I had to get rid of a bag of clothes like it was just like you can't get kerosene out so I figured with gasoline I didn't want to have the same thing happen so anyways organizing stuff working on minimalism reading some books putting together some films some videos and trying to figure out what's next obviously this whole pandemic and stuff has affected everyone differently and also varying degrees and in different ways I know I had initially planned a lot of places that I wanted to go and things that I wanted to do. A lot of that has changed and I'm still figuring it out like what's going to happen and when it's going to happen. But I guess we'll have to stay tuned and figure it out together. So I think the biggest thing in a time like this is as a van lifer you also realize how much you depend on community and society as a whole. And so I think it's really cool how intertwined we are and how we get so involved in community and just meeting people, chatting to people and like going places, seeing things and going on hikes and stuff like that. But I think it's also important to maintain that social distancing and to have respect for those measures that are put into place and we'll see where it all goes. Definitely want all of you to stay healthy out there. I want to stay healthy and safe myself as well. I'm trying to figure things out as we go. So yeah, I think that's the best update I can give at this time. Just trying to get the bus all squared away. Sometime in the next couple weeks I'll have that gas leak done with. Getting rid of some stuff. Working on minimalism. Pretty much sums up my life right now.